Grandma Tsunade! Huh? You're finally here. Hmm? What are you all doing here? And who is that geezer frog? Watch your mouth! This honorable personage is one of the two great sage toads of Mount Miyaboku, Lord Fukasaku. He's the venerable master who taught sage jutsu to Lord Jiraiya. What? He taught pervy sage? And what's the geezer frog doing here? I'm not sure where to begin, but I suppose the most important thing is... Huh? Jiraiya boy has died in battle. Huh? W what are you talking about? We fought against the Akatsuki leader, Payne. Even Jiraiya Boy didn't stand a chance against a possessor of Rinnegan. He sacrificed his life to protect us and to gather information on pain. You let him go? Grandma? That's right. Why did you let him take that risk? You know Pervy Sage better than anyone! How could you send him alone? Stop it, Naruto. You of all people ought to know Lady Tsunade's feelings. <sighs> Naruto! Sakura, enough. Just let him be. My apologies, Lord Fukasaku. I'll have a talk with Naruto. No, no. That's all right. I can see that he's Jiraiya Boy's pupil. His innocent, honorable character reminds me a lot of him. Shizune. Y yes. Jiraiya left us with Payne's body and one captive. I'm giving them both to you. Work with the Intelligence Division and start analyzing them immediately. Understood. Kakashi and Sai, you can go for now. We won't get anywhere with Naruto in that state anyway. I'll inform you when we have any news. Stand by until then. Understood. I'm going to return to Mount Miyoboku for now. Let me know when the boy calms down. Yes. <laughs> Um, why don't you get some rest, too? I think... Hmm? I think I'll go get some air. I understand. You fool! Hatred? Hmm. It's the product of war. You could say it's the feeling of resentment that comes when you lose something. Anyway, the world is plagued with it, unfortunately. I'm always thinking I'd like to do something about this hatred. But I'm not sure how to go about it yet. But I truly believe that eventually the day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Wow, that's kind of deep. Well, if I can't find the solution myself, maybe I should pass the quest on to you. Yes, sir! Can't refuse your orders, pervy sage! 
<laughs> huh? What's so funny? I feel redeemed by your smiling face. <laughs> I'm glad I made you my student. Pervy Sage! Pervy Sage! <laughs> Naruto. You've grown. <laughs> Naruto. Ruka, Sensei. I heard about Lord Jiraiya. I wanted to keep him watching over me. Wanted him to see me become Hokage. But I only ended up showing Pervy Sage the worst, most uncool side of me. I... Lord Jiraiya never had anything but praise for you. He was always bragging about you, saying you were like his own grandchild. He had faith that you were the one who would inherit his will. He truly believed that you would become a wonderful Hokage one day. Pervy Sage! I believe Lord Jiraiya is still watching over you, even this very minute, from somewhere. He wouldn't be happy seeing you so blue. So, just go back to being the you that he praised. Cheer up. For you are a genius student, acknowledged as such by Lord Jiraiya of the Sanin himself. I suppose you're right. Hmm? Moping around isn't like me. If Pervy Sage himself said I can become Hokage, he'd chew me out for wasting time here like this. So... 
I'm gonna move forward. No more moping around. I'm gonna be myself and keep going. And I'll never give up. I'm Pervy Sage's student after all. <laughs> now that's the Naruto Uzumaki I know. Yeah. Thanks, Iruka-sensei.